Hey everybody, welcome to my YouTube channel. Flashback with me, if you will, to the summer of 1990. CBS launched a new show that summer on Monday nights called Northern Exposure. The show would become a surprise hit for the network and would last for six seasons. In this video, I'm going to discuss Janine Turner's role on that show and talk about what she's been up to since Northern Exposure ended in the summer of 1995. Janine Turner was raised in Fort Worth, Texas. Now, she started doing some commercial work and even picked up some roles in various television shows here and there before landing a role in 1980 on the hit television show Dallas, where she played a friend of Lucy Ewing. Now, it wouldn't be long before she landed a recurring role in the daytime soap opera General Hospital in 1982 as Laura Templeton as she would appear in a total of 11 episodes between 1982 and 1983. After General Hospital, Janine continued to make a number of one-off appearances in a variety of television shows such as the soap opera Santa Barbara, The New Mike Hammer, The A-Team, Knight Rider, Another World, and Quantum Leap, just to name a few. And then, in 1990, she was cast in Northern Exposure as Mary Margaret O'Connell, better known as Maggie. The timing of this role in Turner's career was perfect. According to an interview she did with the LA Times back in 1992, Turner stated that she was getting a little tired of Hollywood, so she had moved to New York. She felt she needed to improve her acting technique. She went to the theater, she read books, anything to educate herself and become a better artist. Her agents fired her. She was broke. She said she was down to about eight bucks. After 12 years of work, that was all she had left to show for it. She was so distraught that she said yes to another soap opera, and then that same day, she got the call from Northern Exposure. She said that the role of Maggie on Northern Exposure was the first job for which she felt no hidden shame. According to her, Northern Exposure was for people who don't watch TV. It refreshes people on the intellectual level. The show was the epitome of what she had been working for since her first day in the business. Northern Exposure would earn an Emmy in 1992 for Outstanding Drama Series and also win two Golden Globe Awards for Best Drama Series in 1992 and 1993. Now ratings declined in the final season of the show and the studio finally made the decision to cancel it after its sixth season. After Northern Exposure, Turner has stayed busy. She played Dr. Dana Stowe in Strong Medicine on the Lifetime channel from 2000 through 2002. Additionally, she's been in several movies that were filmed both during and following Northern Exposure, including Cliffhanger with Sylvester Stallone, Dr. T and the Women with Richard Gere, and she was also June Cleaver in the film adaptation of Leave it to Beaver. Turner is still acting these days, but her main passion is politics. She's a regular on Fox News where she speaks about her passion project, Constituting America. It's an organization run by Turner and her daughter with the goal of educating Americans about the U.S. Constitution. Additionally, Janine hosts a podcast called God on the Go Minute with Janine Turner, where she discusses her own life experiences, attempts to bring scripture to life, and gives you spirit-filled direction to help you navigate this chaotic world and bring your soul closer to God, one minute at a time. Here's a picture of some of the Northern Exposure cast, writers, and creators taken at the 2017 ATX Television Festival in Austin, Texas. Now, as recently as 2018, CBS had been discussing a revival of the show that would have Morrow reviving his role of Dr. Fleischman, who would be returning to Sicily, Alaska for the funeral of an old friend and finds a new set of quirky characters while reuniting with old friends in a continuation of the series. Now if that reboot happens, I sure hope it would include Janine Turner, as it wouldn't be the same without her. Now here's one last pic of Janine from Northern Exposure with a very young Jack Black who appeared in an episode during the fifth season. I somewhat remember this episode, but of course I had no idea who Jack Black was at the time. So there you have it. A quick look back at Janine Turner's career and a look at what she's been doing to keep busy these days. I look forward to reading your comments. Also, I would greatly appreciate it if you would consider subscribing to my channel where I talk about the TV shows, 
movies and music that I loved while growing up in the 70s, 80s, and 90s. Thank you so much for watching. Stay safe out there and have a great day.